baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away and getting to start. Hunter Green. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. All right, ready to get underway. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. And a pitch. Just missed. One ball, no strike. And he swings through that one. One ball, one strike. Just off the inside edge. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And a ground ball to first. Takes it himself. Yep. One up, one down. Right. Here's Dave Martinez lined up for the Nationals. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. Bounced up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Runner on at first with one gone. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Move to first. And he's back in easily. On the inside corner for a strike. Thomas leads off first with one away. Oh, and two now. That's and off the plate that time. Straighten him up a little bit. Missed. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there are some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single. Runner on the move. There's a ball. Safe at second with a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Out towards right center field. Friedel on the move. Nabs it. Runner tagging for third. And he's up to third safely with two long. And here is Joey Manessis. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. That one is absolutely belted. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. 
Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now it's Joey Gallo. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Good eye in that spot. One and one. Righty delivers. Foul ball. Next offering is downstairs. Two outs. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Cincinnati, our starting pitcher in this one, Mackenzie Gore. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. T.J. Friedel in the box now. Take strike one. One strike. And a pitch. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Some high cheese for strike three. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. Ball one, one there. One out, base is empty. Oh, and that one upstairs. Two balls, no strike. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. One down, base is empty. That one the other way, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time, it's a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch misses. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And now the lefty just oh. off the That's inside that. edge. Well, this is... A little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. Jamer Candelario waiting for a turn at the plate. Man at second. And there's the automatic. There's a strike. Careful. 
runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Now batting Jamer Candelario. The switch hitter batting right. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Chase that time. McLean on its second with two down. That one misses. And that's ball three. Jonathan India up next for the Reds. Man on second, two down. And a four pitch walk. Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Jonathan India at the plate. That one hit to right. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. Red strand a couple, and it remains 1-0. Here at Great American Ballpark, new inning getting started, and now the DH, Stone Garrett. Garrett. The wide to kick the pitch. There's a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Popped up, and that goes foul. The 0-2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Man, how many times do you see three fastballs in it at bat like that? I'm sure once he got to two strikes, he was trying to stay back for something off speed and just not ready for that third fastball. And now it's Luis Garcia. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Way outside, ball one. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the second. That one way outside. And yeah, that's ball two. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Nick Senzel, the next to hit, takes outside. And another ball. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Friedel makes the play, and that is that. We played an inning and a half. It's one nothing. Now the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. Gore back to work. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. A one down. 
just missed. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. That one finds the zone. Now one and two. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Noel V. Marte stands in here, takes ball one low. Smoked on the ground a second. Fires over to first. And that quickly, two away. Batting it. The catcher. Tyler. Now the catcher up to hit. Tyler Stevenson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two, three, go the Reds. They're down one nothing. And we're back. And now Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bar. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. The one, two. On the ground, out to short. Into Candelario's glove. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Abrams batted for the second time, and that's strike one. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. On the ground at first, and that's just foul. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appeal to third. He did not go around. Left hand hitter waits. That misses the zone. Now two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging. Rookie just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Here's Lane Thomas. Reached on an infield single his first time. No. Up and in, 1-0. and oh. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that keeps the inning going. 
couple of hits in a row for him here. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Green keeping him close. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Now a chance for Hebert Ruiz. And there's the strike. Thomas, the runner at first with two gone. Oh. And there's a ball. Foul ball there. Two outs. And that just misses. It's a good take. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Joey Manessis in the on-deck circle for the Nats. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. Rip to third. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden you get another out to get and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Joey Manessis. Singled and drove in a run his first time oh. through. Wouldn't chase that time. At the belt and fires. Oh. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, two outs. Hey. There's a line drive to left field. And it is. A three-run homer, it's 4 nothing. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Gallo stands in now and watches strike one. Two gone, base is empty, but three runs across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Breaking ball inside. Now one and two. And down on strikes. That ends the frame. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. The pitch. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Oh. Outside. One and one. That's Off the, the mark there. Two and one. Two one strike.
the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and fires. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Now a drag bunt. Third base side. Boots it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. This was the perfect spot to drop the bunt for a hit. I mean, he used his bat as a tool up there to direct the ball exactly where he wanted it to go and look smooth doing it at the same time. Really well done. And the defense right there stood no chance. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Matt McClain doubled in his first A.B. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. The Reds down by four here in the last half of the third. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That one not close. Three and one. And a big swing and a miss. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Man at first, one away. Now snap throw to first. Friedel back in standing. with a somersault finish and he sticks the landing man that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process he did everything right right there nothing to show for it but in your mind you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat man at first next for Cincinnati Spencer Steer he's over one way inside Pitch. Both. Two and oh. Friedel off of first with two away. Ball that one a little bit high, and it's three, three and oh. That clips a corner. And it's fouled away. And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So two on with two away. Jamer Candelario now at the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. in there and that is strike one there was a high velocity fastball in the zone I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter he's got good stuff pitch inside the zone and trust it strike two perhaps not quite ready to hit first two pitches by him for a couple of strikes now back is against the wall he's gonna have to figure something out and figure it out quickly got him looking 
That's the third out. Inning over. Back here in Cincinnati. Out of the fourth. Now it's the DH. Stone Garrett. Green back to work. That's off the mark. Ball one. Well, these Nats showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Swings through that one for strike two. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs, and hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Stays alive. And he deals. Oh, that got yep, away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, in the box, he's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. Garcia, the next to hit, takes ball one. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Brent Suter is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Jabot also throwing. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And the pitch. On the ground to first. To second for one. Back to first double play. 3-6-3, nicely done. To me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Nick Senzel. First offering, and it just misses. Two down, nobody on. That one lifted to left. Steer moving under this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. here with my pal C. Now here is Jonathan India. India. The pitch. Ball no, one, no flight. strikes. And there's a strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Two balls, two strikes. Struck him out without a swing. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Back there. That one is gone. to the lead. It's 4-1. That swing just injected more drama into this one. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard.
Noel V. Marte, the next to hit for the Reds. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. That one in there across the letters. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And here it comes. Ball. Misses outside. outside. And the count even one and one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Ball. And that misses off the outside edge. That clips the corner. One down, base is empty. Now fly ball to right center. And there's two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. No, Inside just missed. One and out. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, no strike. And that one pulled foul. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That's off the mark, and the count is three and one. This one high in the air to left center. Gallo sprinting for this one. Stretches out and hauls it in. Reds claw back with this homer. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And now the center fielder, Victor Robles. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one at triple digits. Strike on the inside corner. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. That's towards center. Drops into the glove. And yeah, there's one away. So the lineup flips over. C.J. Abrams will hit next. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And that's off the inside edge. And it's a ball and a strike. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. And the count one and two. Hit weakly on the ground. On the yeah. off balance throw. The balance. The Lane. Two outs, base is empty. Lane Thomas, the next to hit. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. First pitch misses. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. And that one fouled off. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Nationals gone in order as they hold on to a 4-1 lead.
back here at Great American Ballpark. Leading rest. off, Will Benson. Right Will Benson. The pitch. Right. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, these Reds just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. 0-2 now. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Ruiz drifts towards it, takes it in for the out. And a quick out number one. The center field. TJ. In now for the Reds, TJ Friedel, one for two. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Fought off foul. Now this is in the air down the line. And that is a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Robles makes a nice running catch. The batter, number nine, second baseman. Matt. So it's their last chance in this one. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Matt McClain. Clobber to right field, way back. into the deficit. It's 4-2. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. It appears Dave Martinez is ready to dive into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Mackenzie Gore won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Kyle Finnegan taking over on the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Washington, number 67, Kyle and now Spencer Steer oh, and that's off that's inside. the inside edge and that is ball one two outs Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Swings through that one. One ball. Two straight. The Reds down to their final strike. And that's outside. And it's two and two. The Nets trying to close out a two-run lead. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't chase that time. Three, Pressure three. mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. And your final 4-2.
For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. <laughs>